Good morning guys. So last time we installed the supercharger, we went to put the base map on and there was a typo so it didn't register on the ECU. So we had to get slight modification done to it and just got it this morning in an email. So now we're going to put the base map on and go see how she runs, do some data logging, send it to the tuner. Yeah, now we will actually be able to push the car a little bit, see what she's got. Now again, I still don't really know what I'm doing. I've researched this and researched this and researched this and everything, but it's still new to me. So we'll kind of learn as we go here. I got the laptop. Uh, I need... I got the Ecutech cable. They'll plug into the laptop, and then I need the dongle, the little jump drive looking thing. Hey, right. okay, so if you're gonna be doing remote tuning, your tuner will send you a base map to install. So basically you'll get that in your email, you'll save it to the computer, and then you just open it up, just make sure where it's located, it should just go right into your downloads. That way you can easily find it later when you need to put it into uh, the Ecutech software. While you're getting this started, you'll plug in the, the Ecutech cable. Then plug that into your computer. It's hiding beneath my fat roll. Plug in the desk key. Alright, once you get that downloaded, it's going to run Pro ECU. It'll ask if you want to check for updates, but when you download it, it already does that, so just cancel that. X out of that. And we're going to go to Tools, Detect Vehicle, and you're going to turn your ignition on. Then it detects your vehicle. Then you go to Program Engine ECU, choose ROM file, and then I'm already in download, so it pops right up. Select that file, Query ECU. It'll automatically, as long as it can register your vehicle in their system, it'll automatically pop up the ECU code that you have. Then Program ECU. Zero Used up 225 flash points currently on the license key, which is what they give you with each license. And now it's transferring uh, the base map onto the ECU. Just notice this. Is that the loading screen? <laughs> It's at 94, 95, 96%. Hey, switch ignition off. That was the loading screen. That's cool. Please wait. This will take one second. Switch ignition. Really? Switch ignition on and wait. Transferring data complete. Do you want to also clear all DTCs? Recommended, sure, why not? Programming sequence has now completed. Okay, so I th think we're good. And then now the next thing to do is to go do a data log um, I'll have to check to see if it's just going to be an idling one, uh, just a regular driving one, or a hard pull. So we'll check on that and then we'll get to it. 
Okay, so we just actually installed the new three bar map sensor. Uh, when we first put the tune on and went driving, the car was acting really weird and remembered that we needed that. So we put that in and now it's driving like normal again. So you open up the Pro ECU, you open up your ROM file and then it'll bring you to this screen and then you hit map access. And now to start logging, you just hit log the file, everything turns green, and now you're data logging. All right, so now we're about to turn onto the highway to do a pull. So you'll wanna be in second gear and do a pull from 20 to 60 miles an hour, full throttle. Yeah, and then we'll stop logging at that point, so. guys so I just sent the data log off to the tuner and then we should get a revised map uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours depending uh, once he's able to look through everything make sure everything's looking good and I believe I did everything correctly I believe that's the data log that we just did and but yeah we're getting there uh, then later on we will actually go out and put this up against the S2000. We didn't actually get any videos of us racing recently, but we have one from last year that we did that's on my cell phone and I'll be uploading a video of that along with an updated version with the supercharged FRS versus stock S2000. Okay, so we just received our second revision to our tune and we're gonna be putting that on now. For whatever reason, every time we download Pro ECU off Ecutech, it doesn't, we use it once, uh, the drivers are no longer installed on the computer and then we have to re-download it every time. So we're just doing that right now. And then we will upload the revised tune and go for a drive. All right, so now it's the same thing as last time. We got the revised tune installed on the ECU and now we need to go do some data logging and it's just one this time just the third gear pull got everything set up and ready to go okay so now we're just gonna hop on the highway guys so it's been a little bit since we did any data logging or anything else like that but Carissa went on the Venom rally which you guys will see a video of that and cars back had some issues with it running rich uh, check engine light came on uh, there was also like no fuel stations in Nebraska that had 91 so she ran it almost empty finally found a gas station got it filled up and then it's been kind of running a little weird since then. I double checked all the clamps, everything's tight, there's no leaks, checked all the vacuum lines. Uh, I cleaned the map sensor, put that back in, drove around today, seemed all right. Uh, I went through, I cleared all the codes, scanned everything, everything was looking all right. So right now I'm actually gonna be doing some data logging. 
I'm just making sure the correct tune is on here. So this is revision three right now. We'll do some data logging here. We'll send this out to the tuner and then hopefully we'll get another one soon. Sometime this week anyways. Uh, we have power crews this weekend. We're gonna be on the track for probably about three hours altogether. So hopefully we can get this thing dialed in, running good. This car does have high mileage. We have a new gauge cluster with blue LEDs that shows 20,000 miles, but the car actually has about 140 on it. So anything could happen, but hopefully everything's good and we'll get this data logging done. All right, so fingers crossed that everything is looking good and we just need one more. Thank you.